Hi guys, I'm Cash Candle right here, and today I'm bringing you another episode. And today it's gonna to be just the same as last time, very special episode. I'm gonna be showing an attack strategy, but this one is not gonna be like before. This is not a farming strategy, this is not something they use every day. This is a war strategy, a trophy pushing strategy, anything you want to call it. It's a strategy to get the town hall, get two stars in a raid, and that's pretty much what it is. So this is the ultimate guide to go wipe. Now go wipe is the kind of the, the abbreviation of golems, wizards, peckers. Now, this is because go, golems, white, wizards, pe peckers. Which is, you know, it's easier to say than um, golems, wizards, peckers, stuff like that. So, I'm going to show you in this episode how to use this, what troops to use with this, what clan castles to use with this, what spells to use with this. Pretty much just how to do this whole attack because in war bots, in war, we like people to use either go wee wee, which is instead of peckers, you use witches, sometimes even one pecker, but normally just witches. We like people to use balloonian, like lava loonian, and sometimes um, people like Dig Dug can use giant healer at a really easy war to get two stars because you know he's a good player. But the main attack strategy that a lot of people use is go wipe, including myself. I use go wipe in war, and as I said before, some people use go wee wee, sometimes you see people use lava loonian, but I use go wipe. And I, the reason I do that is because I find it easy. I find the Pekka's a good idea to have in war. Uh, I just like the the idea of steaming to the centre, get a lot of damage going in the centre, and moving out from there is going to be 50%. So we're going to go over what you meant to have in your camps to start off with. So in my camps, I have four archers, two Pekka's, three golems, 19 wizards, six wall breakers, and four minions. Now, I'm just going to stress this now, and I'll stress throughout the whole video. There is no chance... Well, no chance that there is no reason why I want to see anyone in warboards not having any backup troops with them. Now, by backup troops, I mean archers, minions, barbarians, anything like that. Troops that they have left over at the end of a raid, which they can use to take out spare buildings to get the 50% if they've already got one star. Now, there is no excuse to not take these, they don't take much of a space up, and there's a good idea to have because they will get you that extra star, and stars what you need in war, and when you're trophy pushing, stars what you need to get more trophies. So you must always take some backup troops like archers or minions. Yes, I could have for more wizards doing this, but that would stop me sometimes getting the two star, which is not a good idea. So, two peckers, and that is only because I have one in the clan castle. If I had three peckers and two golems, I'd have a golem in the clan castle. But it, that's just the way I like it. So I've got two peckers. Obviously, you don't want many peckers because that's just going to take up too much space, which you don't need. And then I have three golems so that gives you enough to spread on different raids. Like some raids you group them together, some raids you spread them apart. The majority of the time you spread them apart unless you know 100% that you're going you're gonna to keep the golems in a bunched up area. There's a normal strategy for this and I'll show you on the base that you want to do this. Um, but I would say 90% of the raids you do with go wipe you want to be spreading your golems apart. Same with go wee wee but I'll do that on a different video. 19 wizards, you want as many wizards as possible because these are what take, a lot of, take out lots of buildings on the outside. They what go in the center with the with every other troop. They're kind of, they're the the glue that keeps the raid together. And you have wall breakers to get through that first sec, first or second layer of walls. And obviously later on, I'll go through the spells and why we don't have more wall breakers. Then the minions and the cleanup troop. So, spell wise, I use three rage, one jump, one lightning. Now the reason I don't use freeze at the moment is my freeze are only level two. I am currently upgrading them. Later on in the game, I'll be using free spells. But at the moment, I just use jump, lightning, three rage. Now the reason I use a jump because most bases have two or three layers of walls until you get to town hall. So you're going to need to to wall breaker through the first wall and then jump over hopefully the next two walls. And if you can't jump over either the wall to the second layer or the third layer into town hall, depending on the base. So you should always have a jump spell on you, in my opinion. But that's if you're only bringing a small amount of wall breakers. The lightning spell is for the clan castle because I don't like to draw the clan castle out because I think that using the clan castle to draw your troops into the center of the raid, if you could take them out in the center easily with a lightning spell, you should do that, in my opinion. Some people like luring them out, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just what I personally like to do, and obviously, you guys can make your own decision on this. So, obviously, both heroes and then my clan castle, as it's the maxed out clan castle, I have 35 spaces, so I have one maxed out pecker two maxed out wizards and two maxed out archers these are just troops i got out of the clan because i asked for them outside of war which is really nice thanks guys for giving them me those and so yeah so obviously with go wipe it's a tax strategy you don't have to worry about any of your defense layouts but what i can do, say is a tip on your base if you want to have your base as anti go wipe as possible which is mine i'll show you mine here just a quick note on the base i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this just a really quick note so 
you see on my base, it's not very sealed off. So you see, if someone goes into the top there, they've got that arch tower, then they'll go across the wizard tower, and they'll go out the sides, leaving stuff to go to the centre unprotected by the golems. And obviously on the bottom here, stuff's going to go on the outside as well. And the reason for this is because I want troops to go on the outside of the town hall, not go for the town hall. And if you distract them around the outside of the town hall, you're onto a winner. And obviously you're going to have most of your firepower in the centre, Teslas, Inferno Towers, stuff like that. So, just a quick note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a raid for you guys. I'm just going to go for search. I'm going to see if I can find one. If not, I'll have to pull up an old war raid. And I'm going to show you guys how to use Go Wipe in a raid. And so hopefully we'll get a tough raid for me. So I'll be able to show you guys a how to beat a tough base. So see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. And I found this moderately hard raid. And the reason we're going to raid this is because it's got high level walls. It's not a town of 10 sadly. But I just want to show you guys a basic rule of thumb. How to use Go Wipe. Hopefully we'll get two stars in this base. So obviously he's got his town on the outside, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and aim for this Dark Elixir and this Clan Castle, because that's whereabouts the town hall would be on a war raid. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop one golem there, one golem there, oh no, one up there and then one there. So we're going to go for the two sides, we drop two wall breakers on those two, and then two wall breakers there. Now let's go to Clan Castle troops, which is fine, we're just going to wait for those to be blurred out, and then we'll drop a, a lightning spell on those, and that'll take out, take out most of them. So. Drop Peckers there, Clan Castle and Heroes, and we'll just raise these guys up. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the centre, right there. Well, no, that didn't go to the centre, sorry. But that will take most of the Clan cast, most of the troops to the centre. And we've just got stuff going in. It's not too hard, to be quite honest with you. I'm not too worried about this raid. We're going to be able to get at least two stars, hopefully. Possibly even three star. It completely depends on uh, how our troops do. So we've got our Queen and King still up. Golems are doing... Decent amount of damage, got a king in the centre, got peckers in the centre as well. I'm going to just drop a, a raid on those guys just to keep them going up. And we've our queen's about to go down, but we're going to raid her up. And same with our king, and that's because those skeletons have distracted our king and queen. And what we're going to do is just put a... Just going to show you guys, this is the uh, minion at the top there. I'm going to just, just... These are how to get outside buildings, so it's going to be there, and then there. And what we're going to do also is these pecs are probably going to take out this cannon, possibly even get through to this wizard tower, depending on how much health they've got left. And sometimes you might want to take a heal to raid. We don't recommend using heal on a high level town hall. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop all of our archers there to take out that town hall so we can get a nice probably 70. I'm going to say this raid's probably going to be about 80% two star. And we've got most of the loot as well, so that's quite a nice extra. So, the reason we didn't 3 star this raid is because uh, my jump wasn't too good and it's not a very conventional base, but obviously, on a normal raid, on a if I had more time to plan this out, I'd probably be able to 3 star it, and mainly because I just went straight in for it, I didn't really do too well, in my opinion, I could have done a lot better. But, I mean, our golden placement was okay, I didn't see a cannon, which did, did, didn't really do me much favours really. So. One peck is down, and this other peck is about to go down. So we've got about 85%, probably going to get to about 86 maybe. Um, okay, no, I'll say we get to probably 89%, and then we'll be done on this raid. So, it, as I said, it was a very tough raid. This is just for me to show you guys an example of a go-wipe raid. And if we had more time and better like planning, we would have been able to get three stars on that raid. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go back to base. I'm just going to show you guys how to train go-wipe with not even max barracks. So... Also, see, there's my clan castle. I'm not going to bother requesting, so I'll request for healing for farming troops in a minute. So, go heal three, three rage, one jump. And then, what we're going to do is actually, for some reason, we've got wizards training, so it's going to cancel these quickly, get rid of the ones in our camps, and then we will train more up. So, we do do two peckers, six wall breakers, and I don't know if this is the most time efficient way to do it, but it's just the way I do it at the moment to keep get everything done. Then we have so six wall breakers, six wizards, six wizards, four archers, seven wizards here, two golems, four minions, and a golem there. So that's going to take up to 140 spaces. It takes about an hour or so to train, maybe an hour or two. I'll leave two hours for you all to train before the war, before the raid, and obviously you need more time to plan that raid out. So I hope this raid was informative enough for you. But what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to show you uh, some of the high level raiding that we have in our clan. So in the last war, the top raid on them 
was from Dig, and I presume he used Go Wipe. I'm gonna find a quick high level raid for you guys, and be back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back, and we've got a raid here from White X Men, and I'm just gonna show you guys this, talk through it, show you guys how how Go Wipe works in a normal raid. So right here, we've got three golems going in. One in his clan castle, and then he's got a he's got his wall breakers going in there, getting all of his golems into that first layer of walls. He's got his backup troops, that is the wizards and the witches going in there, taking all the buildings. So his so the rest of his troops go into the centre like his peckers there. And obviously he's got this guy's got the skeleton traps and his clan castle coming out here. He drops his heroes as well, which are very high level, which really does help him in this raid. So if he goes to the centre. He's about his queen's about to take down the town hall. She takes that down. Kankos goes down. Activates abilities. Gets a fifty percent and surrenders. Very simple. It's not too hard to do as long as you plan out your raid, take your time, and that's it. Now I want to just quickly go over a war, the rules in Warbots very quickly before we end this video. So if you're still watching from Warbots, well done for surviving this long. But I'm just saying in Warbots we have very simple rules. Stay within three numbers of you in war. I'm going to just explain this to you. The reason we do this is so everyone has someone to raid. So, if I go into war at the moment, I'm number 13. I go down to number 13. That means I could raid up to number 10 and down to number 16. Now, this means that I have a, that's six people I can raid out of the two war raids I have. That's a lot of, there's a lot of choice you have. Just take one out of the six. I mean, try to attack high if you can. If you're going to fail, don't do it. Honestly, it's not worth the time. Attack a little bit lower. And it, we won't complain if you're in three numbers. If you want to go outside three numbers for any reason at all, you've got to check it over the co leader and they'll tell you if you can or not. Now, the reason we do this is because let's say number 12, Per. Per's a very good raider, he knows what he's doing, but as he's number 12, if he goes to raid 16 and for some reason the rest of them are taken and we're later on in the war and I need to attack, everyone within these numbers are all taken. And if he goes lower or higher, that's a little more of a chance of bases being taken that I can raid than, you know, that, I, that there should be. So I should be able to raid within six. Hopefully people raid you early on the war and we don't have this problem. But it just saves the problems later on in the war. And also got to talk to tax through the code to avoid problems during war, which happen all the time. But that we just want to try and avoid it, try and avoid to the point that we can. So I hope it's been informative for you guys. It's taken a while for me to make this, and obviously the troops stuff costs elixir to make. So I just I wanted to do this to show you guys how to do it. Very simple step by step rule. And new members from Warbots, hopefully you'll enjoy your time in Warbots. You'll war with us. You'll do well. Get some nice loot, etc. We'll do we'll got all kinds of cool stuff. So I'll have a video up soon on some other attack strategies. But for now, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you.